What's up guys? We're the Kents and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about our coming out stories. I don't think we really have the traditional coming out stories that most people have or that you may be used to watching. Um, nothing really traumatic, I can say, has happened to either one of us. Um, yeah, I never really had like a whole let me sit my parent down and got caught in some crazy speech. situation. But we did want to sit here and just tell you our stories and just go through our journey of just actually just growing up being gay and black and just a little bit of our experience navigating um, the gay world um, just from our perspective. So let's start it off with, um, I guess, when did you realize that you, I guess, were gay, different? Uh, well, for me personally, I feel like me, I've always been different. I've always been a little boy who, I've always been questioning, well, why do I talk like this? Why do I stand like that? Why do I make certain gestures? Um, so I've always kind of known I was different. Um, I started knowing I liked boys maybe, I kind of always, like I guess around the age of maybe like eight, eight, nine, maybe 10, I noticed like an attraction to like, okay, little boys, like, you know, right when kids started having their first crushes, I'd be like, okay, I kind of like my little boy. in like six. That's what I'm saying, like whenever kids start having their like, like I was the first like crushes, like. I feel like you always do know um, sex. I don't know, you just always know. Yeah, and I've always had, like, I've always had adults and people tell me, like, don't stand like that, quit talking like that. Why are you, like, when you sing a song, like, don't move your hands, like, like you know. So I've always been, I've never always known I'm different. And what I don't think people realize is, like, when you say stuff like that to your children or to kids in general, like, that stuff sticks with you. Not only sticks with you, it has a big effect on you. And it has a big effect on your confidence. It has a big effect on your personality. It has a big effect on how you show up in the world. It, it, it has a big effect on your light. It, it dims you. Yeah. And I don't think they mean to do that, but it definitely dims your light. And I'm self-conscious about a lot of things because of that, what I used to be. Um, I'm working through a lot of stuff, but I used to be self-conscious about a lot of things like my voice. I, I hate to, I hated talking. I did, I tried not to move too much, like even just, but I'm just a naturally thick guy. So when I stand or when I walk, my body moves a certain way. I can't help it, so. You know, like I, it's just always been a battle. Like I, it's been a battle to truly love myself, like in this gay world. So. I guess my next question would be like, how was it for you, like growing up in school, and like, was it difficult? Because I know for me, I um, I grew up in the project, so if anybody knows about that, it's it's rough, um, you know, because it's like very inner community. So as soon as you come out your door, like everybody's outside, so you can't really like you know be in your backyard or to yourself. So you know the neighborhood kids would say like you know little certain stuff and um but for me I will say I um I had a cousin that was a little older than me who was kind of like you know in the streets a little bit so he had a kind of a name in the street so I will say in the neighborhood it wasn't like super bad for me um in school you know you did have your couple people who would you know make their snap remarks and stuff like that but I was always kind of like kind of popular so I had friends so it wasn't like super bad for me like in school how about you um, I think my experience in school was a lot different growing up gay because um, it was just me. I didn't have like, I didn't have like really no cousins or me and my sister's 10 years apart exactly. So we kind of like lived like in an only child life. Um, I didn't have anybody. So I was, I was, I was fresh meat and fair game to people. So I got picked on, I got bullied. I mean, and it was only me, but the thing about me was, I wasn't somebody who was going to cower, I was going to fight, so. Like, you're not going to back me up, but so far, I'm going to lash back out and we're going to, you know, I don't mind, I'll tussle with the girls. Um, All right, guys, sorry, something happened with the camera. What you saying? <laughs> yeah, camera, I don't know what it was. It was an SD card. 
Um, I have so many just different stories I could tell you with school, like, that happened, maybe we could do it on a different day, but there's just so many stories. Like, so do you think your mom or sister and them, like, do you think they always knew? Um, yeah, I definitely, I feel like they knew, I feel like they never really, like, because I would hear little comments and stuff, like, you know what I mean, my, um, my family wasn't shy to say what they wanted to say, so. I mean, I feel like they always knew, and I was always myself. Like, that's one thing I can say. I was never really nobody else around them. I was, I, there was times I was shy because of anxiety. I would just be super quiet, but I've always been myself. I've never been no one else. And that's kind of feel like that's why I don't have a coming out story because I was one of those people who felt like uh, my sister never had to do it. So why do I have to come out and say this? Like, it's weird. Like, like my sister, she always knew. Well, she always knew. She knew for sure, for sure. But like, I never, I, it took me a long time to actually tell my mom. But, well, I had a group of friends. So like, a group of gay friends. So they used to come up to the house. And everybody like, called my mom, they mom. So I'm pretty sure like she knew. Like these, these, these guys are all characters. Like when I say straight out of a movie character. So. Cause I, I know a lot of my friends, you know, relationship with their parents wasn't always as good as my relationship was with my parent. Um, so it was cool for them to have a, you know, a home, a safe haven to come, you know, hang out at and feel comfortable. Cause my mom, you know, she walking with the girls. So they, she See, I know, like my mom, like me and my mom were always super duper close. Like we've always had a really great relationship. We've always been kind of best friends. However, I, I can't say like, a thousand percent that she's always understood it or have always like been the most accepting or have said the most encouraging things about it but me and her have always had a great relationship she's always been my rider she's always been the one that defends me no matter what whether she understands what's going on or not like she does always have my back but um yeah, I just think there's times where she just didn't understand things. Cause I know even just recently, um, me and her was having a discussion and she was telling me that there was a lot of people's parents who used to make little comments about me and say little things about me. Um, and this is just stuff that you don't realize when you're the child, the gay child growing up because you're so in your journey and your journey is so um, chaotic and um, such a ride that you don't think about anybody else's journey of it with but you. But like so. the nerve though of someone to say something to, like if I had a child, I'd wish. Yeah, but then the funny thing, thing about it is a lot of these people who have said things about me, their child has either came out as gay now, or their child is just doing terrible or doing way worse than me. And my mom was like, I just want to be like, okay, now what? Or especially the ones whose kid has come out as gay now. She just really wants to be like, you know, and I thought that was uh, so interesting and I thought that was so eye-opening because I never thought about her journey with it, like how she felt about it, which I think that would be a very interesting video. So let us know in the comments if you would like us to do a video. Maybe we could talk our moms into doing a video about that. I never really asked my mom if she really experienced anything like that. She never really- I never did either, but we were just talking one day and she mentioned it because we were talking about a certain person, we won't mention them but they're now gay and we were just talking about them. My mom was like, yeah, cause I remember when their mom was either acting a certain way or had said something and she's like, I really just want to be like, what now? Like, you know, but and I just thought that was so like, I'm gonna ask my mom that was that. I never asked my mom to she, I mean, I'm pretty sure. It'd be, it'd be your family though, like, that it had do. some shit to say. It do. But a lot of them don't understand it and know how to navigate it as well. Like, I don't know, it was weird for me because I don't know, my mom had a gay brother who they loved, but he was gay in a time when gay wasn't a thing and gay wasn't cool, so. But I've never heard anything bad about my uncle. I've only heard great things with stories about him. That's why it was a little confusing sometimes when I heard certain comments and things about gay people, but you know what I mean? But um, I, I will say my family has been super supportive and everything, like I literally didn't actually, so fast forward to, 
because our, uh, I don't know what this SD card is going to be. Fast forward to like actually like coming out, um, I didn't really like, well, you still haven't really come out, but I didn't really come out until like maybe like 10 years ago. I mean, ago. I have to come out because <laughs> my family knows them and they love them. Yeah. And uh, so like, I just had, I've never had the car, I've never sat down and had the conversation like, hey, I am gay. Um, I did. I think I was just, it was a hard thing to say. I feel like the word gay was it's hard. hard like, it's hard to say, I'm, it's hard to come out and say I'm gay. Um, for me though, I had, I was getting out of a, 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 a breakup, a long term relationship and I needed to go home. So I told, I had to tell my mom like, look here mom, I'm gay. I need to come home. And my roommate wasn't my roommate. <laughs> but um, she, she okay. said she knew, she knew, she always knew I was gay, but she, she let me come home. And I mean, that's the day I told her, like, I need to come home, like, right now. So that's I had to get out of that situation. But she was fine with it. And and then for you, I like, what? Well, you just, I, you just sort of, well, they knew you was gay, but they, he just yeah, sort of, sort of around. Around. they always knew, like, you know what I mean? I guess from the friends, but I was always, like, more of a secretive person because. I really had to explore this and learn this on my own. I had nobody to talk to. It wasn't like me and my sister were super duper close because of our age differences. Like, it wasn't like I could go talk to her like we were best friends. And like, it was just something I had to deal with and learn on my own and really become comfortable with me before I could open up to them about even just coming around. But I still never had like the whole sit down, but I mean, they know. Cause I um, actually I moved out at twenty like twenty right before my twenty first birthday. So I mean, it it was always weird because you know how you have a close relationship with your mom, but being as though I was never able to tell her like come out and tell her, it was always like you know you try to keep a certain distance and just because you never know like it was so taboo and so talked about like. You get crucified for being gay back yeah, in the day. Especially right? in the black family. Yeah, like, so you didn't know, like, you didn't, even even the most supportive of persons, like, you didn't know how it was going to go. Like, like I never know. thought, like, I would be one of those kids who got, like, put out of their homes or... Yeah, anything, I never thought. I never really had to worry about that. Anything either. like that, but it is still just a my hard thing. It was never about that. Yeah, it's still just a hard thing to just come out and like say. Like I said, my mom always, like, she's always had my back. She's always championed me. She would cuss you out, you know what I mean? But she still had her own journey and understanding that she had to deal with the growth that came along with this. So, you know, I, you got to afford people that, like, you know, she wasn't, she didn't try to beat me. She didn't, because some of these parents you see will try to beat it out of you. Or like, church you know, it out of you or... Mm -hmm. So, I will say I was thankful in that, in my journey, um, I mean... So much that I never understood until I got older, the whole house thing. Oh, yeah. Being gay, I never knew that. I used to have friends that would be like, that's my gay mother, or that's my gay father. And I'd be like, oh, well, I don't play like that because I have a mother. But that was my privilege, and that was well, kind of a nasty thing to say. Too, but I, had a I didn't know that people do that. gay, they gay friends who was into... All the house stuff, and so I knew about all. I that. never understood the house stuff, and I didn't know much about it. Um, so I used to say like, yeah, which was terrible because I didn't know that they joined them house because their families didn't accept them like that. Like, them house still away, you know. So I couldn't say that my family they loved me, and so basically, we just want to say like, you know, everybody's story is different. I'm um, thankful, you know. It could it, have been worse. It, could have it been wasn't worse. the best, but it could have been worse. But, you know, for you out there, you know, it does get better, um, you know. It definitely always gets better with time and getting to know yourself and just really being strong and rooted in just knowing and getting to know yourself. And I just feel like these kids these days got a little, little easier. Oh, I'm loving the... Um, what do you call these new age? This new generation? I love them. This new generation is like, I am who I am. You're gonna accept me. If I tell you I'm a tree and I you're like a rutabaga, a that's what you're gonna accept me as. And it's period on that. And I love that. I love, love, love that. Um, I wish I had that growing up, but it was just, it, it was progression and I'm just loving to see it. So guys, we just wanna say, you know, just hang in there. 
you know, the journey does get easier as you get there's our options, there's there's people out here to help you, there's um, people join houses, there's all type of um, resources. All right guys, we just wanna wrap this video up. We just want you to know that, you know, I know it may seem hard at times, but at, it will get easier. Um, you know, just, just keep on, I mean. Yeah, and that's why we're building this YouTube channel. Just as a safe space for the young kids, even just the people, guys, girls, anybody who's a little different out there, we want to build that family and be that for you. Because um, that's who I was. All right, so make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell so you know every time we upload a new video. And, you know, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, we'll see you. Bye, guys.